Hello, Internet. Welcome to Don't Open Your Eyes. This is a game I found on itch.io or itch.io, depending on who you are and how you pronounce it. And really, I was just looking for any games that looked like they had an interesting art style and frankly, any game that wasn't just a slender remake. So this is what I came across and we're going to be playing it. The music is extremely loud for me. I'll have to tone that down in editing. No idea what this game is about. It just looked really freaky and was about, uh, as far as I, uh, what I know is that you're going to sleep, which is what we're seeing right now. It's getting late. It is. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. Let me reposition my, okay. I better go to sleep. Yes, let's do that. I go to sleep every day, believe it or not. I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Yes, those crickets I hear. Oh, it's terrible. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. Yeah, that last one is generally the one that gets me. Although I was laying in bed this morning and was gradually nodding off and then my dog barked downstairs really loud and it spooked me awake and you get that adrenaline pulse of like, oh God, wake up. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Well, good. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Excellent. Quiet. Sure. Why, why aren't my eyes closed? It says don't open your eyes, but my eyes are clearly open. Too quiet. Whoop. My, oh, that was me tossing in bed. Okay. I feel restless. I don't hear the crickets anymore. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. Uh huh. I don't know why. Probably because you have a compulsive disorder. Sometimes I count my breaths, but that's, uh, that's, a, that's called a condition. That's a disorder you should have looked at by a therapist. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. Yes, or you are compulsive. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the, be the throat of a gargantuan beast. Does it, though? Does that look like a beast to you, Internet? I don't really see it. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But, but what? I don't want to look at it. Well, then don't look at it. I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In my room. Whoa. Oh, that's my bed. That's me. There's a bed. In my room. There's a closet. Or there's a wardrobe. My mistake. Didn't know we were going to Narnia. In my room, there's a wall with a uh, Japanese writing on it and or hard to read scribbles. Pictures. Ah, I see. Those are pictures. I was going to say, it kind of looks like... Okay, it doesn't matter. Yes, filling in the details of the room. My room is a part of myself. I don't know how that could possibly be true. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so with the slightest, without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Mm hmm. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. All right. Stop thinking about physical representations of your room scribbled and go to sleep. Dot, dot, dot. Also known as an ellipsis. Heartbeat. Dot, dot, dot. Thump. Oh, is that something walking towards me? I see some dots in the hallway. Are those eyes? Were they there before? Oh, you probably can't see my mouse cursor, can you? Oh, you can. Okay, good, good, good. What was that sound? That's something coming to eat you, my friend. Are those footsteps? I, sure, could, could be. Maybe you should open your eyes. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Yes, surely it is. But it's getting closer. Mm-hmm. 
and closer. And closer. Yes. Okay, I get it. And yes, but ellipsis. Closer. I get it. You're going to get a jump scare? They're gone. Oh. Right. There's no way there could be somebody there. Of course not. How ludicrous. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. So this is this is what I'm imagining. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Hey, bud. <laughs> I was going to say this is just my imagination because we're imagining what's in the room, but then he whispered to me. Uh, ellipsis? Open your eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Do I open my... No. It, the game is called Don't Open Your Eyes. No. I don't open my eyes. I... Okay. Open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> God, it's so creepy. No, I said no, I will not. At me. I'm kind of looking at you. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? I'm terrified, that is why. I may have just urinated my bed. Why do you think? Matters. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Are you you're not really asking for help, you're just sort of whispering sensually in my ear? Is that Can feel someone breathing over my ear. Exactly. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. Please don't. I have never seen myself before. Okay. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you. This is genuinely pretty creepy. So you can tell me how I look. Uh huh. But I'm also shy. Oh, he's just a shy guy. Oh, okay. So I might hide the moment you do. <laughs> okay. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Until you come back tomorrow, right? I'm totally asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Oh. Like I could almost grab them. Please do not do that. I feel something caress my ear. Ugh. Put my fingers around them. This is like when you go to bed tonight, think about this. Like this is I know the game itself not terribly spooky, but tonight when I lay in bed, I'm going to be thinking about this thing coming to caress my ears. Please don't and touch my. Them off. Oh, don't do that! I need those for hearing you. If I do, will you scream? I probably yes. Seems will plausible. I hear your voice. It was a joke. Oh, <laughs> oh, you funny, you funny guy. I'm joking. I used to got that. Classic sense of you're shy and you're funny. You're the whole package. Oh, you're scared. I am. I'm terrified. Sorry. Hey. Hi. How do you think my eyes look? Hmm. I'm gonna say you have lovely brown eyes that have little green pinpoint type flecks around the iris. When our case is final. My goal is for our gazes to never really meet, you know? I just don't think you're my type, answer really. Me. I don't want to answer you. What do their eyes look like? They look broken, they look empty, or they look lost. Probably empty, right? Probably empty. They look empty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Hey. That may be so. That made it so much worse. They look like orange slices. Don't they look like orange slices? The eyes are the window to the soul. Yeah, I can see your soul right there. It's that little spot right there. That's what someone told me. Oh 
long ago. Why didn't you ask them what you looked like? Why are you pestering me? They said that the soul was holy. Uh huh. Bright. Bright. I can barely hear you over this loud ass music. Beautiful. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. Oh, yeah? If that person said I was the exception. Oh, you don't have a soul. Well, what is this then? That's okay. something like me. Couldn't possibly own something so holy. So bright. Uh huh. So beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. I mean, whenever I look inside of people, I also tend to get tired. It's not, a, you know, it's not really a statement about you as a person. You know. Their eyes. Eyes that could see it all. Couldn't find anything in there. Uh huh. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. You know, after the ears comment, I really don't like that you're talking about cutting people apart. Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. I hate that sensation when I feel my blood crawling through my veins. Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Could be. Because I'm empty. Maybe. But isn't that something to be grateful for? No, as a very empty, soulless person myself, I would say it's actually something to be pitied. Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. Yeah, it's a pretty disappointing experience. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. Yeah. So maybe this is for the best. 100%. You should just get out of my house. I can't remember to me. You should just leave my house. You should go have a journey looking Nor inward. The second. Nor the third. I mean, you could go f just anyone but me. Nor the several others who came after. How many people have you done the this to? The thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Uh-huh. Hey, Hi. Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Um, fr yeah, frankly, um, you know, I normally wouldn't open up like this, but you just have such a inviting face that I, I think I will share. Yeah, I've gone through most of my life feeling very empty. You know, I look at other people and I see that they are much more normal than I am. And many of them have ambitions and passions and things that make them exceptional. And here I am kind of stagnating. And it's been that way for years and years and years. And Every time I do try to like uh, piece together a life outside of my little hovel of an existence, I just feel like I don't measure up compared to other people. So, so yeah, it was, yeah, I felt I felt a little empty, uh, devoid of what makes people special. That you've embraced the void as your own. Um, I don't know if I've embraced it. I've railed against it with that tiny kernel of hope that exists inside of most human beings. And if I had ever lost hope, I probably would have just ended things. So, I haven't really embraced the void, per se. I've kind of struggled against it for most of my existence. You? I, I, I just explained to you uh, really eloquently what I feel and why I feel that way. I remain silent. Yeah, screw you. You don't, you don't deserve to know my inner workings. We're on our first date. That's like third date territory. His eyes. Yeah, I see them. Are these my eyes? That depends. Are you caressing my eyes at the moment, asking me if they belong to you? Because that would be a no. But I'm going to say these are yours. Yeah. Good answer. I f it was a good answer. And there is only one way to know the truth. By opening my eyes. Open your eyes. You know, bud, I'm just... We're taking things too fast. Do I open my... Nah. So you won't look at me. No, you know, I don't think I will. You have no idea what my eyes look like. I can't see them, but I can't imagine them. Bro, this music is too loud. Could you turn down your music a little bit? Round like pearls. I... Why would my eyes Shining be like... like jewels. Uh huh. So, so pretty. I do have pretty blue eyes. Caresses my eyelashes with a breath of cold. Why is your breath so cold, my man? It's fine. We still have time. Good. The night is still and silent. As often it is. What now? Are you going to ask me what your smile looks like? 
Oh, I just hear him breathing a little bit. It's so hard to hear over this music. I do wish they had turned it down considerably. He's just breathing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that once I... Closing their doors. I left mine open, which I realize now was a fatal mistake. You know what a door is. I've heard of them. Um, I believe that they're popular in of Europe. Course you know. oh, of course I do. Sorry. You have one right there. Yeah, right here. Also, my wardrobe. My world is not little. Is a barrier to keep the bad out. Mm -hmm. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. A haunting shadow man with oranges for eyes, yes? Sometimes. Me. Oh, are you bad? I can't open doors. Oh. I find them tricky. Because you don't have hands. You just sort of fade out of existence at the end of your Should arms? Push? You should do neither. Um, should I turn the knob left or right? Mm -hmm. Should I try to take it off its hinges? Don't do that. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? And what happens when it opens? Uh -huh. Do I close it behind me? You're putting a lot of thought into. Do I keep it open? Very basic things that people do on a daily basis. That You, you, uh, it's tricky, but you just do exactly what you've already done by opening the door again and traveling in the opposite direction. And what happens if the wind pushes it closed? What then? Uh, if the wind pushes it closed, you will actually combust, so it's really important that you use door stops. So many options. I, it, ooh, yes. So many things that could go wrong. So many. So, note to self, tomorrow close the door. I stare at it for a long time. And then you just leave politely? And think of my excuses. Uh huh. Because that's all they are. Sure. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. I hate when things they exist. Me out. Oh, I see, and yes. It fills me with the need to go in. So, if I close my door, you want to come in more than if I leave my door open. So I search for don't search for crevices, bro. That's not. Don't. These are my crevices. Are my crevices? Anything that might be open. Anything uh -huh. that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. I suspect this game is going to end with him attempting to crawl in my anus, which is not. As long as there's a place not where great. I can fit, then I can't go in anywhere. Mm -hmm. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Uh -huh. Careful. So as to not be caught by the light. Mm -hmm. My eternal search. I pick a place where to rest. I sleep yeah. in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Without alerting anyone. And then tonight you decided to talk to me instead of just sitting in a corner of my room? Usually it's a cellar. An attic. Anywhere with dust. With dirt. See, now damn it. I knew if I had dusted I would not be haunted. And I just... Kept putting it off. I Kept putting it off. There. But sometimes, just sometimes, mm -hmm. an urge swells inside of me. To caress people's ears? The urge to be seen. Oh, okay. So you're like an exhibitionist. So I search hard. Mm. <laughs> For a door that's open. Yeah. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. As mm -hmm. if expecting me. Can we wind this to a close? I would love if you would get out of my house. But you won't look at me. No, I probably won't. Even though you had your door open for visitors. I wouldn't say leaving your bedroom door open is an invitation into your home exactly. Why is that? You're peculiar. Are you afraid. Um, you know, I was initially, but as time has passed, I'm realizing you're just sort of a you know, sad, sad, lonely person. Do I scare you? Um, you did initially. That can't be it. Mm. We have been chatting for so long. In a, it feels like an eternity, yes. You haven't chased me out. I don't know how. That means you welcome me. See, you're interpreting my signals as... Uh, you, you just haven't been around people enough. 
I think you haven't had enough social interaction to realize that like, you know, just because I haven't pushed you away doesn't mean that I'm welcoming so you. I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. No, 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 no. Something moves over my bed sheets. Okay, you were talking about pulling earlier. If this ends with some weird, no tugging. Yeah, hold his hand. Sure your hands are warm. Probably way warmer than yours. So very warm. Mm -hmm. Because people are always warm. That is one of the defining characteristics of people. We are warm. How do my hands look? <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> my warmth finally meets yours. Oh. How would it feel? Let's not have our warmth meet exactly. Answer me. Okay. How do your hands look? Ugh, they look tired, deceitful, or incomplete. They look... I don't think they're... I don't think they're deceitful. I don't know what tired would mean in a hand. So they look incomplete? They look incomplete. Yeah. Oh. That's not what I expected. Yeah. That may be so. That's sad. Amidst my travels... Like pieces of your fingers. People behind. People uh huh. Who are my chat companions, just like you are now. I would love if you would leave me behind. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Oh, so when you leave, I might find part of your fingers here. Things such as skin. No, don't. Flesh. No, don't leave bones. those. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Farewell gifts, you could say. Yeah, of course. You know, I always try to leave hunks of flesh behind when I leave a room. It sounds like an excuse. It cut, yeah. That's because it is. Uh -huh. Because I am careless and overly curious. Yeah. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Um. I think everything would feel better if you would turn down this godforsaken like music. The crust of a tree or the surface of a frozen lake. Don't touch frozen lakes. It's not good for your hands. And sometimes I find something else, like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Okay. Also, don't touch fire. I think of the screams in the distance, or the suffering and death and charred skin. I, yeah, I think about that as well. Wonder that feel? I'm gonna venture not great. So I put my hands to the fire. See, what I just say, you don't touch the fire. It hurts, but I tolerate it and uh, keep them there. Yeah. Long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. I wouldn't call touching fire uncomfortable per se. I would call that like agonizing. The smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Also, smells don't really Trude. It would be more like emanating or the smell of charred skin radiates from my own, you know, that sort of And when thing. I take them out, the feeling persists. Yeah, it's because you have third degree burns on most of your hands. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. Intox yeah, I got addicted to touching fires back in 98. I seek such extreme sensations. I know, once you, once you, honestly, that first hit of like, severe burns like I, you just keep coming back it's it's very difficult to shake the that addiction the knife sometimes provides it or okay Other times the fangs of a beast most <laughs> times however it's by mere accident i would place my fingers over a benign surface only to discover it's covered in spikes is that common and i would leave my hands there as i traverse along it Parts of my body as a farewell gift. Uh huh. In a sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. You are consistent. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun. So, uh. it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. Yeah. There's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. What's that? They're always. Yeah, shockingly, fire and blades are painful. I'd rather they weren't. Hey. Hi. Have you ever placed yourself in our 
arm's way, only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. I, I don't, I don't really know what that means. Have you? I, I don't, I don't really know what you're asking. His hands. Yes, these your hands. My hands. They absolutely. By opening my eyes. Open your eyes. Uh, no. So you won't look at me. No, I don't think I will. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Based on your descriptions of touching spiky things on fire, I'm gonna venture that our hands are not the same. Think about it. I ju I literally just articulated my thoughts about it. Maybe you and I are similar. F so similar. No. Oh, me too, bro. I can feel it in my skin. Yeah. Thump thump. Oh. oh. Can you hear it? Did your heart grow three sizes to today? My skin is pulsating. That's totally it normal. Has been long since this happened, it's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Oh. Under the yeah. Satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. You could show yourself to everyone at once? Every living person in this land. That would be very impressive. And ask them same question you should do that someone will answer there's no doubt about it for sure it's a numbers game bro you don't go out and just pick you know one or two people to interact with you go out it's a numbers game you hit on everyone at the bar and you just hope that you know you go through enough that one of them eventually says yeah but it might not be the answer i wish for yeah they might tell you you're a haunting freak who tortures sleeping people Since I don't well, you're doing everything the wrong way if you don't, don't want to be judged. Want to be perceived as something I'm not. A horrifying monster. It scares me. Oh, it spooks me too, bro. That's why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. So you're saying even if I looked at you, you would run I away? Hide, fading into the dark. Uh huh. But you might be different. Oh, I might be. If it's you. It might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, mm -hmm. Just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Like your flesh is pulsating? Yeah, that's what feel. I thought. What do you feel? Something. Is it the chemistry between us? Because ever since you've been looking at me... Making eyes at me, I'm starting to feel it too. I cannot describe it. I know, it's amazing. I am not good with words. Oh, you did, you did fine. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. I wish they had not. They were not good at it either. Uh huh. Thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Oh, what does that mean? To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Uh huh. So glad. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And uh -huh. I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. You don't know what you look like. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I think... You know, I think that's a common trait, at least in human beings. I don't really know what kind of freaky entity you are. But in human beings, we all want to be recognized for who we are and acknowledged that the things we do matter, that the, our appearance is not our sole defining characteristic. But, you know, we want recognition from those around us, from our peers, if you will. I think it's really important to have people that see you for who you are and recognize that, you know, you have value to the world. Maybe it's only because I can. 
Or maybe, or maybe that. Yeah, sure. Because everyone gets to be recognized, but me. I yeah, that's exactly. Sure. But I will. Mm-hmm. Soon. Oh, totally. Once you open your eyes. You know, still probably not going to do that. There it is again. Yeah, I can kind of feel it vibrating through the sheets. It's very unnerving. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Even if I look at you, we're not going that far. I'm going to stay covered up. We're not really at that stage of our relationship. Do you inspect every crevice of mine? See, no. See, we're moving too quickly. That's like a third date or longer kind of thing. You know, I'd like to get to know a person a little bit better than that. You know, I'm not just going to examine you know how many times have i gone out with a girl and she's like oh i want you to inspect every crevice of mine and i'm like ah it's a little too soon in the relationship and you finally 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 open those tight lips of yours i mean i've already described your hands and your eyes so i feel like i've already spoken to you let me hear what i am a monster to me I can give you a name. Thump Thump. It makes me feel. Oh, it makes me feel, too. But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident. If you were to look at my face. Hey. Hi. What does my expression look like? Bro, I don't want to keep doing this. When that fill of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful smile, a grimace, or an emotionless stare. <sighs> well, as much as I would like to see you smiling at me, I think you would have an emotionless stare. I don't know if these impact the actual game or not. Um, You sound like you're feeling things. Maybe you are smiling. A cheerful smile. A hundred percent. Oh. Oh, oh! You got your teeth are a that little. May so. That may be it so. It makes sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Exactly. It has been so, so long. You look way less threatening, actually, with a smile on your face. I can no longer remember where it all began. It was 1914. Who's to say it had a beginning? Oh, you might mistake. Point. Is it in 1914? Was walking. Uh huh. For some reason, it was daytime. Probably, I mean, not for some reason. Probably because of the Earth's rotation and location of the sun, and you know, things that actually dictate whether it's daytime or not. Really travel during the daytime. Only sure. When the fear of being seen isn't there, so I must have believed that was the case. Maybe it was a time before humans. But it's strange. It is strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city. So probably not before humans. Full of people. Yeah. I couldn't see them. But I knew they were there. They were ghosts. In shadows. With their backs against the dirt. Maybe they were hiding from you. Completely motionless. Completely silent. Living in weight of their deaths. Yeah, it sounds like they might have been haunted by you. And what's more? Because they were terrified of you. Did they even know I was there? I think, yeah, I think they did, and that they were petrified. Maybe they did not care. I think they cared a lot. I remember as feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. You should go try to find that place again and leave my bedroom. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think, and who's to say I wasn't one of them? Mm -hmm. Maybe I spent my days as part of the scene. As well, and one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory, and my most joyful one. No experience afterwards that made me want to smile more than that. Why didn't you ask them what you looked like? So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. Yeah. But tonight, I'm not joyful. Oh. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I'm 
must be lying through my smiling teeth. Oh. Hey. Hi. Have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? When in reality, you're feeling anything but? Yeah, most of the time I will chuckle. I don't really smile so much. Oh! This whole time it had a... I could... Well, that makes me embarrassed. Because I could have turned down the sound at any time. I didn't know right-clicking would do anything. We'll save. Why not, you horrifying, freaky thing? Yes, I have uh, often tried to force a smile when I have been miserable. Mostly I chuckle. I generally don't really smile. But uh, yeah, I have definitely faked my my emotions on, and tried to wear a better expression than the one I was actually feeling on the inside. Inside, I am um, bleak and dead and cold. And on the outside, I try to be... A lot more warm, although my face does not generally reflect that. Have you? I have. This expression. Is this my expression? I'm guessing it's not because you told me you're not joyful, but I also don't want to go through a lengthy speech again, so we're going to say I yes. See. Thank you. You have sure. truly helped me tonight. Have I? These are my eyes. Yeah. These Great. And this is my expression. 100%. Consider these my most treasured features, and you have helped me picture them all. You're welcome. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. Like soulmates, almost. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. Mmm. Do I? It is the Yeah. So please, I beg of you. You know what? I'm going to open my eyes. Let's save. I actually want to open my eyes and see what happens. Open your eyes. The game's called Don't Open Your Eyes. I imagine we die if we do. But I want to see what's there. Yes. I open my eyes. Please don't jump scare me. There's nothing there. I didn't die. Oh, it's just over? Okay, well, we're going to reload so our save. <clears throat> Had to try, you know. Open your eyes. Mm, nah. No. No. I see. Okay. I understand. Yeah? No, it's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No hmm. one has done that for me before. Okay. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Oh, okay. No. No, oh, I thought you might have left. That is a lie. Oh, good. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Uh huh. Not even once. I, I mean, I literally told you what your hands, eyes, and mouth looked like. Not even once. Not even once. Not even. Not even once, not okay, even calm once. down. Not even once. Okay, calm down. Did you open your eyes? Yeah. Not even once. Did you look at my face? I mean, I just tried to, and it didn't really do anything. You stayed so. there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch, at times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. I've been talking to you, baby. You haven't opened your mouth. Then you should know I'm freaking terrified and want you to leave my house. I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. Empty inside? We are the same. Mm -hmm. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too are a liar. The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Really? I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They are 
aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. But I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember that in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Do I open my eyes? I really want to see. I'm going to say yes you again. Had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Oh, don't do. Oh, don't do that. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. <gasps> I hear something shatter. Did I get killed? Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Oh. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I don't, I don't see anything. They've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is, oh, jump scare. Don't jump scare me. Oh. 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 Hello. You appear to be made of hair, human hair, which is peculiar. Oh. I close my eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, gee, that jump scared me. Stop it. Open them now. Stop it. I think I've been bludgeoned to death. Oh no. Oh no. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself. Here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know if I'm supposed to reload and not open my eyes. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. Now, he liked to leave pieces of himself. I can no longer open my eyes. I mean, the fact that I'm thinking means I'm not dead. It sounded like he beat me to death. Oh, I wish I had known early on that I could turn down the, the music. I was afraid to hit escape because I thought it would close the game. A lot of these like um, really simple games from um, Itch.io, if you hit escape in the game, it will close the whole game. So I was afraid to do that. Let's reload and click no. So he's going to do the same thing. Okay, so... No matter what, we end up getting beaten to death by this guy. Yeah, okay. So we get beaten to death. That's really interesting. I thought the whole thing was very creepy. It was hard to hear over the music, so I apologize for that. I really should have looked before we started the game. But I hate starting the game too, and then like 
seeing the intro and listening to them talk and then going back and having like, because what do I pretend that I didn't see the intro? Do I, you know, what do you do in that situation? I want to come in fresh and experience the game as we go. So, um, it was really interesting and creepy for sure. And I guarantee you when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to think about this thing. I don't know if it's going to have any effect on me at all, but I'm going to at least think about it. It seemed very creepy, very interesting. And honestly, and maybe this is just because I do YouTube and stuff, but like I was, I was watching this as it played out and all I could think is that this guy is talking like this the whole time and how hard whispering actually is on your voice. So like, I don't know if that's because of YouTube or what, but all I could think is like, I bet he had to record this over the course of several days because recording, it's been 45 minutes, recording 45 minutes of whispering is like, it will kill your voice. So that was my main thought, uh, which is kind of silly. I thought it was cool. It was definitely interesting and definitely weird. There was some weirdness with the English. I didn't know if that was intentional to try and make the creature seem more foreign or if it's uh, like a translation issue or what. But for the most part, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, obviously very linear, doesn't seem to have multiple endings or anything like that. I don't know if picking different eyes, mouths, hands would have made a difference on the actual ending. I suspect that each of those things has a speech attached to it. So for instance, we talked about his hands and then he proceeded to tell us a story about how he hurts his hands all the time, which fits with the narrative of the hands we picked. So I'm guessing if we had picked other hands, we would have gotten a different bit of dialogue. But it was definitely really interesting. I liked it. Um, I thought the reveal of the creature was a little bit lackluster, but I mostly enjoyed it. Um, there will be a link in the description down below if you want to check this out for yourself. But it is obviously a very narrative heavy game. So I don't know how much more there is to discover. Maybe there is a good ending and we got the bad ending. But we seem to get bludgeoned to death by a monster. So that's exciting. And... Um, yeah, I liked it. Check the description down below for a link to the game. It is free on Itch.io, and uh, I would encourage you to, um, you know, check it out if you're interested. So for now, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully the music did not put you off of the episode. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with something else in the near future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.